Moreno Valley, California, are you familiar with it? Because if you're not, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a Google map tour of Moreno Valley, California, everything that it has to offer, things to do, street views, and as well as, you know, some little insights, whether or not Moreno Valley is the perfect location for you. So stay tuned, because we're gonna get after it right now. Whoa, Moreno Valley, just to give you a little insight before we jump into this Google map tour. Moreno Valley, it is one of the larger cities here in Riverside County. It is actually the second largest city within Riverside County. It is right next to, right below, Riverside, California. And it's actually interesting enough that Moreno Valley has kind of really exploded within the past 20 years. It's just grown significantly. And if you watch my pro and con video about Moreno Valley, you know exactly what I'm talking about because it's just gone, you know, bananas. Now there is, you know, quite a bit of options to do if you're looking to move to Moreno Valley. And I, I definitely want to show you those and I definitely want to save those nuggets for this Google map tour. Now Moreno Valley, great option if you're looking, you know, if you're trying to look somewhere more affordable in reality because the state level for affordability and cost of living is a little bit less inexpensive than the state average so that is a big major plus of moreno valley and again it's not a small city whatsoever it's you know it's not one of those like hey you just driving by and it has like three stoplights no 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 they have their own mall right they they have uh their own type of businesses going on such as well, Moreno Valley Mall, Costco's, they have March Air Force Base, Fortune 500 companies, multiple parks, a lot of great options. So, you know, things that a lot of major or bigger cities over 100,000 population would have. They just have those options. So that's one of the great things about moving to Moreno Valley is that you get all these amazing options with living in it. And then the location, it's not too shabby. I won't lie about that. The weather, pretty great now in my pro and con video funny enough i did mention it doesn't snow in moreno valley and then about four days later california has a random blizzard that like has never happened in the history of california and then all of a sudden i'm driving by moreno valley and i see you know snow mountain tops and i was kind of like well this is kind of interesting i just stated it doesn't snow here but one out of a million however yes normally it does not snow moreno valley so if you're one of those people that is trying to stay away from the cold well don't worry you're not going to get really cold in moreno valley that was kind of like a big fluke i don't know what happened but we did get some snow uh snow on the top of the mountain there so but at any rate what we're gonna do now is i really want to jump into the google map tour uh portion of this video that way you guys can that you can gauge and understand what moreno really valley uh, moreno valley really consists of as far as things to do location of where it's at and the proximity to the nearest um everyday wants and things so definitely stay tuned for that and let's jump into the google map tour Woo! so here we are google map portion of this video so i have moreno valley all pulled up and just to show you what the outline of moreno valley really looks like is i will click on moreno valley so that way you can kind of understand oh hey this is what moreno valley kind of consists of right Minus here, March Air Force Base, because yes, it is a US military installation, which secludes itself from being part of the city. At any rate, here is Moreno Valley and everything that it has to offer. As you can see, kind of, I've already outlined and favorited all the, you know, desired locations a lot of people like to go to, um, whether it's for fun, entertainment, or everyday wants and needs. So Moreno Valley, it is, again, it is a bigger city. And uh, throughout this middle, it's a lot of residential homes. That's why you don't see a whole lot of uh, hearts here but i want to show you geographically where it's located within southern california so if you pull out the map of southern california you can kind of see it, it is right here uh southwest of riverside and really just west of los angeles california um south of big bear and the mountains and the, the high desert as well as it's east of you know palm springs and everything that that amazing place has to offer as well 
really north of beautiful sunny San Diego. And so it's, it's a really cool, neat feature that, hey, you can be in LA within, you know, an hour drive. You can be in the beautiful, amazing beaches that Orange County has to offer within, uh, again, an hour drive. You can be in Palm Springs within, you know, let's say under a little bit under an hour. So a lot of great areas all within an hour drive. Now, if you wanted to go to beautiful, sunny San Diego, it might take an hour and 30 minutes uh, just because it's a little bit further north. However, just again, location wise here in Southern California, pure amazing, pure amazing nest. And if you ever lived out here in Southern California, you know that there is lots to do in the Southern California region. And uh, one of my biggest, you know, takeaways in Southern California is it has, it has lots to offer. So really cool. So if you have those kids, you want to head to Disneyland, you can under an hour or Knott's Berry Farm, one of the other amusement parks or Great Wolf Lodge, right? The indoor swimming um area where I just took my kid for his birthday or Universal Studios or Hollywood Walk of Fame variety of options that you can take you can be in a whole different country within under you know two and a half hour drive if you really wanted to you can be Mexico in the north side of Mexico within under like a two and a half hour drive from Riverside so that's a really uh from Moreno Valley so that's a really cool you know thing to know if you don't really know about the Southern California region that's kind of, you know, a big major takeaway of why a lot of people choose to, to move out here. Now, anyways, let's jump into Moreno Valley. So as you can see, Moreno Valley here, again, great location, uh, lots to do. It is surrounded kind of more by mountain, mountainy terrain. So all of this kind of consists of just mountains. And so that is one of the things about Moreno Valley. It is very much a valley. Yes, it is a valley. You can see all the mountains here kind of surrounding it. Um, and even out, outside out here, there's there's a couple of mountains out here as well. Now, let's kind of really just jump into it. Um, I'm going to start really from the west side, work our way east inland to kind of more the populated area. So one thing that I want to start off is Paris Reservoir. Now, this is outside of Moreno Valley. However, it's so fairly close to it that, yes, you will enjoy it. Now you can go to Lake Paris and you can go out there and you can have a great time. You can go head to Paris Beach, it's really cool during the hot summer days, right? So this is one of the cool places that you can attend to if you live in Moreno Valley. It's not very far. So you can see uh, Moreno Beach right here. I mean, you know, 28 uh, reviews with four, 4.4 stars. It's a sweet little location, really nice scenery, really great views. I mean, it's just a quick little getaway, you know, within a little 15 to 20 minute drive and you're in Moreno Beach and you can go hang out by uh, the Paris R Reservoir now so that's one of the cool options of living in Moreno Valley now as you move a little inland you can see also that we do have sports parks so there's a lot of parks within Moreno Valley that just means you know it's a very community friendly environment especially if you do have kids if you don't that's still okay you can still walk your dogs and go to the park and have a great time now, the Lazio Sports Park, it's a neat little park. A lot of people really enjoy going to this park. There's a lot of activities, a lot of sports going on. So that's one of the cool major things about Moreno Valley is that it does host amazing parks. And so one great option there. Now, if you're living here kind of more in the southern region of Moreno Valley, uh, you have a little bit of options down here where you do have this little plaza over here that hosts Home Depot, you know, a couple of fast food restaurants, AutoZone, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, you're a little bit further south, but there's still options for you for your everyday wants and needs. So you don't really have to worry about that. Wherever you live in Moreno Valley, to be honest, it's all within a 10 to 15 minute drive. Now you also do have down here, the Moreno Valley College, small little community college within Moreno Valley. So if you're one of those kids that just graduated high school, or you're looking to get back into school, maybe you're not a kid, maybe you're older being, right? And you wanna go back to get another type of certificate or some type of degree, you can go back to Moreno Valley uh, you know, Community College to get more education. It's just another great way to excel. So that's another neat feature that they have here within Moreno Valley. And now another major park that we really like in Moreno Valley is Celebration Park. Now Celebration Park is cool. It's a cool park. I'm not just saying that to say that, but yes, during the summer days, Celebration Park, it's where you want to go and take the kids because they have 
all the little cool water activities and you know basketball courts and the jungle gym is just amazing and so you can host parties which you can see a lot of people do here uh it is in a first come first serve basis if i'm not mistaken if not i'll definitely verify that verify that but really cool that they do have this option for you so another neat feature now if you're living out here on the west side of moreno valley know that you do have another another little plaza out here that hosts target that hosts walmart also the car dealership is out here so you're gonna see all the car dealerships out here so if you're looking to get a new car you know where to go on the west side of moreno valley uh, so you do have the Target, you do have Kohl's, Best Buy, right? So your everyday wants and needs, if you're a fitness freak, right? And you like to go to the gym, hey, LA Fitness is right here as well. So yes, just know that, hey, if you're living in the further west side and you saw all my little hearts in my little favorite areas towards the east, towards the, the interstate, right? No, you still have options on the west side. Um, as you can see right here, is you still can get your everyday wants and needs. So that's just a really big plus of living in Moreno Valley is that you just do you do have options regardless where you live and what neighborhood you're at you can definitely go do things your everyday wants and needs in a timely manner you don't have to drive 30 minutes away so this is just me putting my little human down here so you can see a little street view of what it has to offer here so you can see out here it's the little shopping center very uh, night, uh newer neighborhood uh, over here but it's very well taken care of, very nice and clean. Um, yes, the Walmart and, and the Target's out here, but really cool. Again, it's just options for you. If you're looking to move to Moreno Valley, you know that it is there. All right, so let's move on from that. And as I zoom out, you can see, you know, here's elementary school, here's the high school, um, plenty of schools, plenty of little pop and mom shops throughout Moreno Valley in pretty much every neighborhood and every street. So that's also something to be aware of as well because it is, you know, somewhat of a larger city. Yes, it, it is gonna host, you know, different types of uh, pop and mom shops. So a really cool thing about that. Now, before I really jump into the populous area of Moreno Valley, I do want you guys to know if you are a, an airman and look and getting restationed here to March Air Force Base, or if you're not, maybe you just wanna check out March Air Museum, you absolutely can. So there is March Air Museum right here. Um, right outside uh, the March Air Force Base. It's a really neat museum. Really, really awesome, actually. A lot of rich history right here and explains a lot of uh, the things that the Air Force does. Oh, by the way, thank you for your service if you are uh, in the military. So another, you know, another great feature here is that you do have the museum that you can go check out. It is open to the public. So one great feature is look at these, you know, these sick rides right here look at that it just kind of shows the evolution of what we've come to today so really neat feature and yes then you have march air force base so march air force base if you are again airmen get a restation moreno valley is a great area for you currently working with the airmen helping to move move to march air force base so that's a really cool neat feature as well and now if, as you go north in moreno valley you're going to notice very populated here right off the 60 and the 215 this is pretty much like the hub of moreno valley the really populous area so i'm going to kind of work my way up there but i'm going to start down here off Al uh, alessandro boulevard is you do have the conference center so the moreno valley conference center and recreational area is right here so really neat feature so if you're trying to host an event whether you're a business or you know maybe it's personal or family you absolutely can <laughs> look at that that's pretty awesome right there um you you absolutely can so that's again another great feature of moreno valley it does that it does have its own conference center right a lot of cities don't and that's um unfortunate and then you also for my golf lovers hey you got cotton cottonwood golf center a uh, really nice little golf course uh nothing too crazy but it's still a really great golf course so you know you're looking to swing one in moreno valley here you go you know you do have that option now additionally another park the moreno valley community park right here uh cool little ramps that they have so another option if your child is one of those thrill seekers and maybe they like to you know skateboard or scooter or you know they're a bmx rider perfect for them they have all the ramps to you know do so and then you also have your Memorial Park as I work my way up, which is just another um, another park here in Moreno Valley, just small little jungle gym, little play areas, a lot of greenery, so where you can walk your dog, 
Uh, that's funny. Two little kids having the last uh, time of his life right there. But yeah, really cool area. So it's good that it has these options. Now, here's really kind of like I mentioned the hub. Here is the hub of Moreno Valley. So this is where you have them all, where you have those big supermarkets such as Costco, right? So you have Costco wholesale. So you like to shop in bulk like I do, right? Here you go. Your Costco is right here. You also have your Sam's Club. So maybe you're anti-Costco and you'd rather go to Sam's. Again, they have that option. That's pretty funny that they do, but they, they have both of those options. And they also have Walmart Supercenter, Target, right? Best Buy, again, so everything that we saw on the west side, it's over here on the east side, plus some. Now, that is a very populous area, especially jumping off the 60 and the 215, just kind of a warning to all. You know, if you're looking to move to Moreno Valley or relocating to Moreno Valley, this area can get very, very congested. And I'm not just saying that to say that, it gets very congested, but still a great place. So here we go, jumping into the mall. You have Moreno Valley Mall. So that's really cool that your own city has it, right? Where you can pretty much go to any and all department stores or clothing stores or shoe stores or whatever you need. It's here for you. So you can kind of see here, you know, the Moreno Valley Mall, how big it is. Yes, it is uh, two stories and it hosts quite a bit of stores. I will say that. Um, it is one of the larger uh, malls around the area, so really cool. And another neat feature that I really do like about the mall is that they have the escape room. So the escape room here, you know, it, it's a cool little thing if you're trying to stay indoors more and just kind of uh, thrill seeking or do different types of activities. So just, just a really neat feature is that they do have the escape room. But also, personally, I like going to this. It's round one bowling and amusement. So I love it. I mean, really, I tend to waste my money trying always to get those dang on stuffed animals. And I probably win one out of like a hundred bucks later, but hey, it's still fun. So yes, these little suckers get me all the time, but it's really cool. If you enjoy bowling, that's another great option here, right? If you, hey, ping pong, man, you see some serious ping pongers in there. But if you do enjoy having fun with your kids or just with your friends too, because they do entertain adults as well. Yes, they do, right? Especially during the night after like 10 o'clock, a lot of adults come and they just have a great time. I know I sure as heck do. So just another great area where you can always come and hang out with friends or family, right? Don't be like this guy. I waste all, all my, my good hard earned everything on those little stuffed animals. But at any rate, here is round one. Round one bowling and amusement. And also, hey, if you're an outdoor lover, right, you still have options. There's plenty of biking trails, hiking trails, uh, trails with a bunch of views, right? And before I jump into that, I do want to let you know, yes, they have a trampoline park, which uh, it's been becoming more and more popular that I've noticed throughout the years is trampoline parks, trampoline parks. And so they do have one, Get Air Trampoline Park. A really great thing for kids. I mean, it exerts their energy and, you know, get them to knock out. Um, so really cool thing about that. Now, again, for my outdoor, um, my outdoor lovers, right? If you enjoy hiking, one of the best hikes in Moreno Valley is the Moreno Valley M. So the M hike, as they call it, the M hike. This is like the biggest tourist attraction. Amazing views. This is where I talked to my pro and con videos about it doesn't really snow in Moreno Valley. And then next thing you know, four days later, you know, Southern California magic, magic, magic magically gets a, a blizzard, right? I'm having a, a bad tongue twister there. But look at these amazing, amazing views. And this is why it's called the M hike. You see that big M? You can see that thing, you know, from some way. So just a really neat, cool thing about it. I mean, look at this view right here. You can see everything. I mean, you can probably find where I'm staying at here, right? So, and then during kind of when it transitions in, in, into spring, you're gonna see all these beautiful flowers all throughout the mountain, all throughout Southern California. It's just really beautiful uh, scenery. So that's a really cool neat fe feature of Moreno Valley is that it does have some sick hiking trails and you know biking trails. And just if you're an outdoor lover in general, it, it's a great place for you. So a lot of options for you. And that's kind of going to wrap up everything that Moreno Valley 
has to offer. I mean, it's just, it is a great city. Um, personally, I feel like Moreno Valley is definitely underrated. I think that it can definitely have a, a, a lot more great things to say about it than what a lot of people do, especially if you're local. But overall, it's a great area. It's a very great area with a lot of options. And in its location, you're, again, you're right here, right next to Riverside. If, you know, if you're living here in the east side, you take a five minute drive up to 15, you're in, you're in Riverside and you can do all the great, amazing things that Riverside has to offer. Or maybe you don't want to, you know, you don't want to go to a bigger city. Maybe you want to go to something smaller. But that's perfectly fine. You can definitely head on to Paris, California and enjoy what Paris has to offer. I mean, Paris has a couple things that are really neat as well. Or, you know, maybe you're a wine drinker. You want to go to wineries, Marietta and Temecula, right? You want to jump in a hot air balloon, Temecula, right? You want to have a good night out? Well, a lot of these places have great areas and different bars and stuff like that. So just kind of options for you. Moreno Valley location-wise, it's great. City is great. Lots of great options. Now, if you do have questions or comments, definitely just comment down below. And we love to answer any questions you may have. Now that's gonna wrap everything up for this video. Thank you for watching Living in South California.